Oh shoot. He may have the 40, but I have an Airsoft Innovation Cyclone Grenade. What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have a review of some Airsoft Innovations banger grenades. So you guys have probably seen these before on the Airsoft Battlefield. I'm going to do actually a Versus series today because I haven't seen any of those done. Maybe if you only have money to buy perhaps one Airsoft grenade and you're kind of debating between which two, I'm going to give you two grenades that Airsoft Innovations has so kindly sent me and we're going to go ahead and unbox them and look at them, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the packaging. I'm a business major in college and Airsoft Innovations recently did a giant uh, kind of rebranding and so their new packaging is awesome. They have lots of bright colors, lots of cool fonts, lots of explanation on what grenade uh, the grenades do and kind of their purpose, but they've come out with two grenades pretty recently And so I'm excited to get into the review on them and we're gonna do the internal review right now All right now we're gonna take a look at the packaging of the inside of the XL burst So obviously you're going to have your grenade and you can see that I have currently installed the orange cover on it It also comes with a blue one stock as well as a black one in case you want to differentiate on the field It comes with some medium viscosity grenade oil It also comes with Three rubber bands total, one on the grenade and two outside to protect the fill valve from any dust and debris. And then they also have a really funny patch on here. Whoever is the design guy at Airsoft Innovations is doing an awesome job because their patches are hilarious. And then finally, you have your instruction manual as well as the 30 blast caps that you will use in order to use your grenade. With your Cyclone grenade, it is also going to include the same grenade oil. The packaging is a little bit different, but it will include the grenade. This is because the grenade comes in a few parts. You have your main shell, you have the pin for it, and you also have the bottom cap. They also include another hilarious patch, and this one's super cool as well. And then finally, you have your instruction manual, as well as some color differentiations so that you can identify which grenade is yours on the field. I would also recommend writing something like, I'll write Alec Mac 111 on this grenade so that everyone knows it's mine. First, the Burst XL. Airsoft Innovations, Cyclone Grenade. Ah, oh, frick! <laughs> oh, holy crap, that hurt! <laughs> Please tell me you're still recording. <laughs> Airsoft Injury Report. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's actually like decent FPS. Yeah. yeah! Took one right there. Oh my gosh. Worth it. This oh. is for you people, this is for the fans. So that hurt a little bit more than I thought. I did not expect this to actually shoot the BBs out at such a high feet per second. It's not like that it was super powerful and it broke skin or anything, but it honestly hurt. And I know I dropped it from really close, but I think that's actually really good. I think that's a good aspect from this grenade because that means people will actually call it and not shrug their hits. I really like both of these grenades, so now I'm gonna kinda talk, maybe if you can only afford one, obviously when someone buys grenades, they're probably not gonna buy two different ones. However, they are pretty affordable, so I think that is definitely possible. But I wanna talk about different scenarios and why I would use a certain grenade at a certain point and why I'd use another grenade at a certain point. So in Ohio, most of the fields that I play at, you do not have to expel BBs. The grenade does not have to expel BBs in order to count as a kill. So I would probably pick the Burst XL as what I wanna use. I think I'm gonna run it on the back in my taco pouch because it's super uh, able to use a, a bunch of different stuff and I want to run my grenade there so maybe if my teammate wants to grab it as well but I think this thing is really good because I love the fact that you can really you can all you have to do pull out the bottom reset the pin real quick throw in another burst disc and then fill it up and this thing is ready to go again I feel like if I threw it in in a situation and you'll see a little bit later some scenarios that maybe we'd use this in if you throw it in a room and then by the time you get to the next room have some buddies cover you medic some guys up you can throw it and ready it up for the next event however I think with this you'd have to carry around a speed loader and maybe it would be a little bit louder um, however I would use the cyclone over the burst XL if this only counted as like a distraction device that didn't actually kill some fields require that you have to or the device has to expel BBs in order for it to count as a kill so I would definitely use this because this is I mean it'd be kind of cool to scare people but I would want to get kills with grenades because that's what they're actually uh, used for I have liked grenades for a while I actually had two tornado grenades in my past this one still works this one is broken because I used it so many times it actually still has my name and stuff on there uh, 
Um, but I'm super thankful that Airsoft Innovation sent these out. I like both of these grenades. That's an unbiased opinion. I really think they're cool. I've used them before. I actually used these when I was still at Z-Shot. They had just come out and I actually kind of talked um, with Wallace at Z-Shot. We kind of came up with the, one of the packaging thing that says for the win stuff, it says frag to win. We like talked through that. So I thought that was a pretty cool uh, little aspect. But now we're going to go to some scenario because I just want to use these grenades more. So I'm going to hit my brother and Rob with them. Oh, shoot! Ah! Hit! Medic! Medic! Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you later.